Good morning, Keller Williams. Welcome back to the KW Command MC 66 Day Challenge 2.0. Today is day 64, and I'm going to show you how to add and edit your Market Center's MLS IDs for the office for listings. This is probably the most important component for you to be able to pay your agents quickly and accurately when they're ready to, su to submit their commissions, right? And as you know, commissions is designed to be submitted the day or the next day after a deal goes under contract. So you're going to need to have someone in your market center with one of these roles in order to make these changes. They will need to be either the OP, the team leader, the MCA, the assistant team leader, or the assistant MCA. So today, I'm going to be the assistant MCA, and I'm starting on the home screen for Command MC. I'm going to go into the administration applet, and you'll see right away it takes me down to office details. And I can see here, this is my MLS IDs. Now to make changes, so to add or remove or you know, if Mike can't type, happens to me all the time, you need to click this Edit MLS IDs button. So I'm going to show you how to add one first. So the first thing you do is you type it to the MLS and you go and find your feet. Now, your MLS name may not match exactly what you think it might be. So, for example, um, I live in Chicago, home of the Chicago Association of Realtors. The MLS they're affiliated with is the Midwest Real Estate Data. A little different than the Border Realtors name. So be very conscious you're pulling the right information here. I prefer to type here because there are tons and tons of these, right? Now, as far as ID number, it, this is something you're going to want to ask your broker or someone in your office who has credentials to this MLS to go find all of the office IDs that belong to your market center. Um, you may be surprised by how many you have. Um, the number is driven by a number of factors. Um, sometimes it is how many different boards of realtors you belong to, even if they belong to the same MLS. Sometimes it is how many physical locations your market center has as part of the same board of realtors or as part of the same MLS. And then if you're in different states or provinces, chances are there's going to be an additional MLS ID for the agents associated or licensed in that other state or province. So I'm not going to use a real ID here, right? But you're going to type it in exactly as they tell you. So if you make a typo, you need to make sure to correct that here. Right? And then I can simply go add MLS ID. And it's going to tell you this ID was added. You should see it at the bottom of the list. Now the important part is always hit save. Because you want to see this show up here. Right? Now if you need to make an edit, let's say um, for whatever reason you end up closing one of those additional locations. Right? Or, you know, they launch into their own market center, so you don't want to have their MLS ID on here. You come back to this Edit MLS IDs button, and you simply click X here, and it will tell you it's removed, and you hit Save. Right? Now, remember the list of people who can make edits to this. Right? OP, TL, MCA, ATL, AMCA. There are others, like your broker or a market center leader, who can view this list to help you figure out you have the right kind. By doing this here, you will save hours of troubleshooting on the agent side when it comes to an agent saying, hey, how come I can't find my listing? Chances are this box might be part of your root cause. There may be a number that you think you see, but that's not what shows up in the feeds we get from that MLS. And so there's a mismatch. Um, some products are really good about this. 
Um, some products, you need to do a little detective work to see what's going on. And if you need help with that, always reach out to your regional tech trainer. They can assist with this process as well. And so that's it for today. Tomorrow, we're going to dive into setting and editing your Market Center goals. That's it for me on the 66-day challenge for Command MC 2.0. Marty, back to you.